if you want to catch more fish on the river using the wet fly which is one of the very best but underfished tactics is a necessity to put you in the 10% of the anglers that catch 90% of the trout. When fishing the wet fly, the type of water that you fish the flies in is definitely important. If the water's too fast, you're not gonna catch the fish. If it's too slow, the flies are not gonna swim like the emergers. So as time goes by and you're gonna learn where these fish are, You'll learn how to fish this down and across with tight line and you will catch more fish that way. Let me show you how to go down there and catch some trout on some wet flies. Okay, uh, fishing the wet fly calls for a little bit different leader than the normal trout fishing leader. What I use is just a straight piece of tippet material and I run it down about four to five feet away from the loop on the fly line. At that point, we're coming down with 3x liter. We're dropping it down to 4x tippet material. We have one fly off the dropper, and we have the lead fly on the end. Okay, what we're gonna fish today on the wet flies, we got one beta submerger, which is hatching currently in the river, and we have a heck of a mayfly uh, soft tackle that is also emerging in the river right now. The two flies on my wet fly rig are a beta submerger wet fly and a heck of a soft hackle wet fly. Good way to determine what wet flies you're going to fish in the river is to seine the river with your river seine and find out what size and color and shape the current emergers are before you choose the fly to fish. If you look downstream you'll see riffly water on one side soft water on the other. The trout should be lined up pretty close to the transition. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and put my first cast in the water and let it swing through. There it is. There's a fish a bite on the first cast. Okay, at that point I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to do a little roll cast and send it back out again. You can see that I got a small loop by my finger and you can see that the line is tight coming into the soft water. If the fish does take the fly at this time, what you want to do is let the fish take the fly and pull the line out from underneath your fingers. That way the fish has a chance to set the hook on himself. Otherwise, if the line is too tight, you don't get a hook up and the fish just bangs the fly. You feel him, but you don't hook him. As we move downstream, what I'm going to do is I'm going to extend my fly line out into the river, still on a 45 degree angle, and the reason I'm going to extend it is I'm going to try and get more exposure to the fish. I want the fish to be able to see the fly through all of the quality water. When you do the cast, you pick it up, lay it down, and make a mend upriver, follow through so the leader is down below the fly line. And that's why you got to have that soft loop right here. When the fish grabs the fly, you let him pull the loop. That's very important that he pulls the loop this way. Because when the fish takes the fly, he grabs it and turns back down underwater. And if the line is tight, the hook angle is not very good to hook him. So you got to give him a little bit of line so he swims into the hook tip. That's how you